who do we have here? Eight seasons in the NFL, of course, the Houston Texans and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the newest member of the Detroit Lions defense. He also co-hosts Deej and Beej, which I love. It's a podcast on B-Scar TV. Welcome, the grave digger, DJ Reader. Is our friendship six feet under, I wonder? No, I think I thought our friendship was good. I heard you in the break say you you almost you didn't know if we was gonna be friends again. I thought we were straight. I just feel like between me and Coach Lou, no one's happy that you've left Cincinnati. I know, I know. Sometimes you can't make everybody happy. You know that's how things go. You gotta you gotta make some decisions, and everybody can't be happy. But I'm happy. <laughs> okay, tell me more about that. Let's talk. I'm happy for you, and I love you, and yeah. I'll always support you, of course. You get to Detroit. There's all I haven't been to Detroit to, to witness mm -hmm. or feel these vibes everybody talks about, what these games are going to be like, what these games were like all last year, what the, the energy is around Campbell, around the team. What is it like to be a Detroit Lion? Well, I don't know nothing about the games yet. Yeah. I, from what I hear, it's going to be amazing. But um, I tell you, when I went in the building, uh, everybody seems like they really, really enjoy working there. And that's, like, big for me. You know, the, the energy in that building was great. Coach Campbell, you know, talking to him, he's a guy looking straight in the eye. You can tell he really cares about ball. AG, super excited about defense, all that stuff. So it, it was a fun environment when you land there. You know, I, I didn't know much about the city. I don't know much about Detroit, so I'm excited to learn more. But um, there's a cool feeling, you know, it's a home home welcome. When I walk in, I see two guys from Greensboro. It was a good time. You know, you tore your left quad back in 2020, and you came back in 2021, and what happened? A career year. This time, yeah. it's your right quad. I know you have no doubt you'll be back better than ever. Yeah. I have no doubt either. But I know that you did, you you know, you you would have liked to have stayed in Cincinnati at some point, right? Why did the talks fall apart? Uh, I think things just take time, and um, I felt like I was there doing rehab, doing my thing, and um, the talks just never happened, and then they didn't happen until free agency happened, and by that time, I'm like, you know, I should probably go see, like, what else there is to offer since it didn't seem like during that time that it was a focus of me being there, so, but, you know, that, that might not have been the case, might have had some other things to figure out, but that's just how I felt, and so it was just kind of how I took it, so I just really wanted to make sure I weighed all my options in at that time. Now, Dan, Dan Campbell seems very different from Zach Taylor. They do, but I, I think they both coaches who care about ball. Like, I, And I think that's like, that's the, the cool thing. I think they both do a good job of like leading men. I think being a head coach more than just like the X's and O's thing, like you have to be able to coach coaches and minimize like mistakes and make sure you're like, you're mingling between people and make sure everybody feels connected. And I think they both do a great job of that. What's the first thing Dan Campbell said to you? Oh, he just shook my hand super hard. Like, he got a super <laughs> strong grip. Like Adrian yeah, Peterson? Like, yeah, yeah. like very strong hands. So he got big <laughs> ass hands. That's the first thing I noticed when I shook his hand. I was like, damn, his hand's big as hell. But then it was like, he just uh, talked to me, just like excited, how excited he was to get me there. And, you know, I, I wasn't there yet. They only booked a one way flight on my visit. So they was really trying to get this done. But um, I kept asking my agent, like, yo, when I'm going to get a flight back, like, I need to get a flight home. He's like, yeah, you know, you got to go somewhere and let you. I was like, but other than that, he shook my hand and it was great, man. He just shook my hand, looking at What do you mean he never, me. yeah, what did he say to you? He's a quote machine, I must know. I don't remember words exactly, Kay. I'm not just like a first quote, something somebody says, but I'm not that type of person. <laughs> I just remember the moment. I remember the moment. Words are not what means to me. He just told me that he felt like, you know, I was a part of a missing piece that they needed. And I think that was kind of the theme for the day. I think that was really like what most people talked about during all the meetings. DJ, a, a one-way flight is crazy. <laughs> I want, yeah, I got there. Hey, I'm telling you, I look at the itinerary, I'm like, all right, it's got to be a flight home. And then it was like, nah. And then I kept asking my agent, I'm like, yo, when I'm going to get the flight home? It's like, they said they're going to book it. And I'm like, dude, it's like five in the afternoon. I still ain't got no flight back to the crib. But like, I've been up here since eight. I ain't got no flight back. They, we were trying to get this done. And I was like, he's like, it don't seem like they're trying to let you out this building. But I was walking by <laughs> one door. And some dude shouted out, he's like, we ain't letting you out the building until we get the deal done, man. I don't know who it was. I didn't even look at the door when he said it, but all I can hear and remember is like, those words getting said as I walked by. It was cool. That's the statement from Dan Campbell. That is, burn burn the boats. We are, this is Hotel <laughs> California. You are, you, you can come, but you can never leave. And I bet that For feels, sure. I bet that feels good. 
Oh, it feels amazing to be wanted, man. You know, that that's the biggest thing. It feels great to be wanted. And that's like, that's all somebody won in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to I wanna talk to you about your new, your new sort of vibe here because um, the way you collapsed the pocket with the bangles was just beautiful to watch. And I really enjoyed every snap on defense with you, you out there. And you sort of helped create these big sack opportunities for your boy Trey, who we know is a maniac, right? An yeah. absolute psycho. But Trey became an all pro for the first time last year. I'm so curious what you think about you and Aiden Hutchinson and how you can sort of elevate his game. Uh, I think, you know, I just, I get a chance to like help, you know, create opportunities for him. You know, you got him, Aleem in there. Um, you got a lot of guys out there that just gonna be great. And that kid's special. Like, he's just a special talent. You don't see people that size. Like, when somebody told me he was 6'8", I was just blown away. You don't see people that size bending the edge like he does, and he gets after it. And that's what I'm really more excited about. Like, the fact that he gets after it, he, he cares a lot about the game. And I just want to do what I can to help him get better. Um, I saw you were watching the NFC Championship game last year, and you tweeted this out. Yeah. You said, Goff been him all year. You played four seasons with Joe Burrow, okay. What are mm -hmm. the what's what are the similarities, or what do you see about Jared Goff that made you tweet that? Uh, I just always felt like he got a tough rap. Like I don't know what he did to people or anybody that made it feel like that he wasn't a very elite quarterback. I mean, he went to a Super Bowl, he went to another NFC Championship this year, and like you know, when he's got time, when he's he can dial it up. I've always seen him make really good passes. I've never really seen him not put up points. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that both of them are competitive. I think that they do a good job of commanding the locker room as well. Like sometimes you can come in there and you, you can be one of the guys, but you also like have to command the room. I think him and Joe Burrow do a good job of like commanding the room. People mm. respect them. And that's all that really matters. Like if people respect you and you can go out there and play your game, people are willing to live with results. I think that's like that's the biggest thing. People respecting you and you being fiery and we know that you're gonna compete with us. I had somebody, uh, one of his uh, quarterback coaches from way back when, before college even, say that he's going to, he came on my show the other day and said that he might be the MVP this year, that Goff is that dialed in, that he's that respected, that that's going on. And you're going to have a big hand um, uh, with that. But I, want, I do want to say, like, obviously, congrats on your new contract, congrats on your rehab, congrats on everything. Um, but mostly, congratulations on getting put into MLB The Show 24. Hey, uh, hey, you see? I don't know, you're wearing that stupid White Sox hat. How do you think, how do you think they feel about this? Hey, no, nah, this is just a hat. This is a workout <laughs> hat. I just came to work out today. I'm at, I'm at the facility just about to work out. That's Wait, this is cr on. that's crazy though. In 2013, uh, you were a pitcher. You were a first that's, baseman that's at Clemson. Saying. Did they do you justice on the mound there? They did me justice, but you know, Aleem, Aleem was in the comments talking about he would have took me yard, which is crazy because <laughs> I'd have had to sit my boy down. And I hope you see this. I hope you see this and it's clipped up. My boy, you will never, you could never get it off. <laughs> You could never. You see oh, I wanna... right there. <laughs> I, you, you look amazing. I mean, I can't, I can't size up. Um, I can't size that stuff up. But we have two minutes. We're gonna do a little two-minute drill. I'm going to okay. ask you some questions because right. um, it's something we're calling the reader board. That would be question eight, everybody. Let's do it. Um, it's super simple. I'm gonna ask you questions. You name the player or coach that you would put number one overall on your reader board. Okay. I'm sure you watched Caitlin and Angel last night. Unbelievable. You have you have yeah. to coach those, those two on two. Who's your number one teammate on your reader board? Oh, two on two. You have to play them two on two, sorry. I gotta play, oh, who's my number one player? You have to play them two on two. Pick. Who's your number one teammate in the matchup? Number one teammate. Who are you picking between them? T. Higgins. Like, no, who, playing, who are you right? picking between these two? Oh, between them two? Uh, Caitlin Clark. You're picking Caitlin Clark. Okay, she, they're advancing, of course. WrestleMania is this weekend. Of all your coaches, who's the one you're signing up to be your tag team partner in a match at WrestleMania? Oh, my. Dan Campbell. <laughs> you see, with that handshake. Beyonce just put out a country album. Country Carter. If you had to record a country album, who are you putting as your number one co-collaborator on this album? Beyonce. <laughs> a player or coach? A player or coach? My bad, my bad. Oh. Uh... That kid from Philly can sing. The, the, I can't think of his name. The guard. My Yeah, he can sing, right? Okay. I don't know many people that can sing like <laughs> Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter. There we go. Then no, you, could, no, no, you no, got no. your you got your Carter. 
Beyonce's got her Carter. I messed this game completely up, sorry. Who's going on the top of the reader board for ultimate guest on the Deej and Beej podcast with Brennan Scarlett? Ultimate guest. I gotta get my boy JJ on. We gotta get him on the show. We gotta get him on the show. I love when you come on the show. You're amazing. Have fun. Go go beat Dan Campbell at something. You're the best. Love ya. Congrats. Bye. Much love.